Okay. Okay. Oh, God. Let me get some things off the screen here. Hold on, hold on. I don't need this anymore. Oh, I don't need that anymore either. Okay. So, I'm back from earlier today. Um, I did a little bit of playing a little earlier. I've tried co-op with some friends, uh, not streaming it. Um, we did the Steam remote play, and I have to say, um, it, it, it'll probably be better playing this game co-op when uh, more, like when the official co-op mode is out. I think that'll be something to look for, because we had some issues. We had, like, controllers disconnecting and stuff. Uh, we had points where, like, nobody could press any button on their controller or anything. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping that when the real co-op is out, it will not be shared screen. That would be really nice. If it's still going to be shared screen, then there's probably not that much purpose to that. Um, what else? has changed since I was online earlier. That might be it. I did discover, well, I'll tell you what I discovered if I get there in a normal run. It relates to the tunnels. Let's see how far I can get. Oh, I should mention, I discovered an interesting room at the end of zone two, but I definitely don't want to spoil what that is. I saw it only briefly, and I didn't live very long. But it, it was in a co-op game with two other people, so that might be understandable. I have not learned how to deal with these moles properly, I still hate them. Let's see... I'm realizing with these lizards, too, that, like, when you throw them, they just roll. They just keep on going like a bowling ball or something. Still don't like moles. Oh, me and my friends also tried out the arena mode, which is fun. They've added some new modes to the arena, like playing with mounts, and a little hold the idle game mode. It's kind of like GoldenEye's flag tag, if anybody ever played that. Okay. You know, I think when I played this morning, I was just, you know... Too overwhelmed with the excitement of finally playing Spelunky 2. I couldn't really focus like I can now. I'm still not sure what the echoey voice level feeling is. I think it has something to do with side rooms. Hmm. Yeah, I might help this guy look for his turkeys. Oh god. I have noticed sometimes, though, those turkeys will spawn in places that get them unavoidably killed. Like right next to one of those fake spear traps. I hate these moles so much. Ah! I got spooked by a scary skeleton. Hello! <laughs> Haven't encountered this yet. Well, this is gonna be a fun one, I think. As long as I'm careful. Ooh. I'm thinking this might be a run that's farther than I have gotten in past runs. Also, things are not looking optimistic on the turkey front. Oh, what just happened? Oh, Dan Banana just subscribed. Hello! Loving the content you're putting out recently. Keep it up, King. Oh, thank you. Oh, that reminds me. I have a new video finished uh, that I need to upload, actually. I've even rendered it, and I just haven't uh, uploaded yet. 
Oh, but thank you for that. I think that might be my first subscription that isn't through Twitch Prime. So that's really cool. Hopefully I'm gonna... I want to stream, like, all of my attempts at doing stuff in Spelunky 2. Um, like, I want to try to get every achievement like I did with the first game. I really wish I had either recorded or streamed my attempts at all the stuff in the first game, because there were some really hard achievements, which I'm seeing making a comeback in the sequel. One of them is to finish the game without picking up any gold, which is a lot harder than it sounds. Like, it helps that you can, uh... Uh, like, whip the gold around and move it, but it's still very difficult. Like, in that ice cave zone in the first game, um, sometimes an explosion would go off and then gold would just fly into you against your will. That ended one or two of my runs when I was attempting that. All right. So I'm pretty set right now. I've got a turkey mount and a shotgun. Hmm, what's in here? A scarab. Hmm. Well, didn't do me much good to come down here. Yeah, I got pretty far into the second zone when I was playing with my friends earlier. But it was so chaotic. Um, one of them, I'm pretty sure, was trying to be disruptive. Uh, maybe even actively trying to sabotage us, and he might have been drinking too, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, honestly, like, having more players doesn't really help in Spelunky, I find. Like, maybe it would help if I was playing with, like, people who are all on my same skill level and are all trying to accomplish exactly what I'm trying to accomplish, but who knows. Okay, I think I can get this crate. Okay. I have to be very delicate with this, though. It's bombs, okay. You come over here where there's no spikes and let me jump on you. There we go. Oh no, I think Turkey is trapped in here. Hmm. Well, we had a good run. Bye. <laughs> Sorry, Turkey. Hmm. Oh. Okay. Hmm. I'm down to one heart, but I don't want to mess this up having a shotgun. Like, with this shotgun, I think I can kill the mini-boss. And there's that pug in the spike pit again. I don't like that. I really don't want to mess with it. Oh, accidentally shot a caveman too, but that's fine. Oh god. I'm like super not looking forward to the like no gold run since I know that's an achievement again. There's also going to be the speed run attempt where I have to beat the game in under 10 minutes. Oh god, he he survived the shotgun. Oh. Okay. Let's try that again. I was fully not expecting him to survive a shotgun blast. But that's on me. Hmm.
This time I'll be more careful. Moles are back. I like trying to take this curse pot. I want to just try to use it like right by the exit. Oh god. Oh, pure skill. Oh, beautiful. I intended for that to happen to that mole. All right. Good, good. Hmm. Tricky. You know, I want to get a little more gold. Yeah. All right. Looks like I can get the pug. And I should be able to get the pot, too. Perfect. Oh man, a mystery box. I might need to get this. It's, I mean, it could be anything. It could be a jetpack. It's a web shooter. Hmm, okay. All right. I mean, that's sometimes useful. Like, oh look, now that bat is stuck. That helped me, sure. All right. I will not be too torn up if I lose the web gun. Hmm. I'm going to try an experiment over here, I think. Do you think webs can stop this thing. Can it get caught in webs? Ah. Okay, let's let's try it. Okay, there's a web. It does not get caught. Okay. Now I know. I mean that might have been a clever solution. But no. Oh man, his turkeys are right here. Awesome. I can easily do the turkey quest. And I've got time to spare. There's one turkey. Oh yeah, gotta tame it. Hold up. There we go. Boom. Now I get to go into his creepy basement. I'm so lucky. Some jewels. Anything up here? I can't go here for some reason. Okay. Okay. I'll just go. Take my web gun and be on my way. Hmm. Oh, here's a here's a cool thing I can use the web gun for. Do that. Oh, okay. There. Oh, okay. I'm not using any more bombs on that. It was a good idea, though. You saw what I was doing there. Hmm. I can get this power pack now. I still want to know what this does. Developed for military use, the power pack imbues its wearer with improved weapon handling abilities. Ooh. So I get a fire whip. Does this change at all? The web gun is still the same. I guess that's not technically a weapon. Alright. Is this a weapon? Well, uh, maybe not. So I guess for me, functionally, the power pack just means good whip. Mm. 
But how good is Good Whip? This is just the treasure room, right? Yeah. It's not anything too special. Hmm. I wonder what that room is. Is it behind the shop? Ah, I believe it is. I believe it's that vault in there. Interesting. I wonder if holding a power pack makes it impossible to wear a jet pack. It would not surprise me. Oh, here, I better use my enhanced weapon handling capabilities. Boom. Wow, I whipped that spider so good. Hmm. Alright, I first want safe passage for my web gun. Past that trap. God. There. Okay, there goes web gun. Now I can go safely carry the pug. Hmm, okay. I think this is fine. Alright, we're good. Oh, took a little damage there. Oh, okay, pug is dead. It's fine. Hmm. Well, found the key. I don't think I'm going to be taking it all the way back up there. Alright. I want to try something with this pot. Oh, well. I thought maybe throwing it at an enemy would do something different, but maybe not. I thought I saw something like that happen when I was doing co-op earlier, but I could have been mistaken. I'm going to be curious to see if this web gun will work on this boss. If it'll slow him down in the slightest. Oh god. Oh god. I am getting crushed here. Alright, let's give this a try. Web him up. It has no effect on him. He just keeps on rolling. Okay, I am not going to fight him then. Let's go. Ooh, Scarab. I guess I'm bound for the volcano. Ooh, there's a secret friend. Come on, lizard. Who's this? It's Hired Hand. Okay, I set his coffin on fire. Oh yeah, so what I learned, to do a callback to earlier, the door I was wondering about right there that I thought was some kind of, like, secret exit if you beat the boss, is actually no such thing. That's just where you come out if you take the shortcut tunnel. Uh, it actually takes you to this level, past the boss, so you can decide whether you want to go to the volcano or the jungle, which is pretty cool. I don't know if I'm going to be using any shortcuts in my time. Now what's all this? Yang's Pet Shop, okay. I know there's an achievement on Steam if you buy everything from his pet shop. So, in the interest of 100%ing this game, let's do it. There we go. And plus side, now I have a turkey. I wish my hired hand would take a turkey too. Like, he can have one. Oh boy, oh boy. Mmm, these ladybugs are stressful. I see my hired hand is... Getting all tore up, yeah. <laughs> he just fell. The web gun is probably not going to do me much good in this environment where everything can burn me. Hmm. Okay. Oh, there's a pug. 
I can't really get to. What just happened to my turkey? Did it get hit by that falling platform? Interesting. Oh, there's a little door over here. What do we got? A key. I'm just going to take this with me. Because again, I don't care if I have to leave that web gun behind. Hmm. He's going to drop that cauldron on me. Yep. Oh, that's a new journal entry for the imp. Hmm. Interesting. When Yama disappeared, these lovely servants emerged from hell seeking employment. I wonder if that means, like, hell is canonically dead in this sequel. There's no such thing as hell anymore. We killed it. Alright. Oh, it's this guy again. Tusk won't be happy about this, but thank you. Oh god. I tried to pick this guy up, and I guess it's not working. I don't know what his deal is. Oh, man. Now, why is Yang pissed at me? I bought those turkeys. It is my right to do with them what I want. He's got nothing to avenge. Alright, well... Let me make another attempt at this. Apparently I screwed it up in some way the first time I did it. I feel protected. Well, Challenge completed! I should say so. I was vegan, I was law-abiding, yeah. I'm really surprised I haven't, like, at least gotten to the third zone yet. You know, I mean, yeah, it's a new game, but... I feel like I should have enough spelunky fundamentals to get me that far. Like, I'm out here taking damage to, like, bats and spiders that should be total non-issues. Maybe I'm, like getting overconfident, you know, maybe I'm uh, underestimating this game. Okay. Hip. Oh, beautiful throw. See, that's the kind of spelunky fundamentals I'm talking about. Just good old-fashioned rock throws and stuff like that. So what if there's moles now? No big deal. Oh god. I fucked up. I fucked up. I gotta go. Gotta get out of here. Oh god. <laughs> that was close. But hey, I got a diamond. Okay. Mm, I want to do this. Give me that pug. There we go. Mm, anything over here? Not much. Damn it. Shouldn't have even come here. What a pain. Ah. Uh. What is that snake? It looks different. It's like a different color. And now it's dead. Oh, I think it was just a different color from, like, the torch smoke down here. 
or not torch smoke, like the torch light. Hmm. Hoop. Beautiful. I really do feel like a lot of my unsuccesses in this new game just come from, like, being anxious and, like, not wanting to screw things up. Because it's like, when I would play the old game, uh, you know, it was just like I had already done all of the achievements and it didn't matter what happened. It's like the whole level just kind of became my playground. It was very low stakes, because I was like, hey, I've already done it all. I have nothing to lose and nothing to prove. But now, man, now I got everything to prove. Oh man, come on. Come on, Arrow. There we go. Mm -hmm. Oh dear. The spider. Oh man, already got a dead turkey. So I have learned with Yang's shop here. If you bring a dead turkey into his shop, he gets mad at you and he'll try to kill you. So just like don't even let this guy see a dead turkey. Shit. I done fucked up. I done fucked up. I don't want the turkey. Oh my god. <laughs> Every time I carry that that diamond pot with me, I end up doing that. I end up just accidentally dropping it. Ending my level early. Boom. Hmm. Let's do that again. Oh, I can't do that again with this arrow trap. Not gonna make it. Let's go the other way. Much, well, well, I wouldn't say much better. Eh. Oh, good, good. Hamster's alive. I'm just gonna wait for this guy to start rolling and then, then I'm good. Looks like it's a jungle run. Maybe I'll have more luck in the jungle. <laughs> ah. Oh god. Well... That was not luckier. Hmm. Hmm, well, that was interesting. All right, I'm gonna take the cat with me, not the curse pot. Hmm. Hmm. I think I can come back around to that. I was debating whether to use a bomb to get that crate, but I think I can just come through here and get it. Oh, and look, another crate. That's perfect. I got bombs. Mm, damn, I need something to throw. That'll do it. <laughs> I completely whiffed trying to whip that arrow out of the air, but it's fine. Okay. Oh, 
All right, all right. Good crates. Man, I, I'm really curious about what the new zones in this game are going to be. You know, like... I see that the jungle still exists, but I wonder if the ice caves still exist. Or if there's going to be, like, two totally new third zones. I don't know. Oh, damn it. Okay, I need the... Oh, beautiful. <laughs> I needed that lizard to wake up, but not roll at me. And I timed it just right. Darwin's Clothing Shop. Climbing gloves are nice. I can't afford them, though. Hmm. Eh. No problem. <laughs> Look at that lucky-ass caveman. Just completely oblivious. But I have to go that way. Okay, get out of here. Oh, no! He took my key with him. Okay, let me go down and get that. Ex excuse me? What just hit me? What was that? Is that the end of that arrow? Did I get hit with an arrow butt? Here we go. I'm really wondering if there's still, like, a city of gold, and if there's still hell. Because if the Ujat, or whatever it is, still exists, then... Does that mean the black market still exists? Does that mean the Ankh still exists? Does the Scepter still exist? And does the Scepter still suck compared to the free version? Ow! Lizard just ground me to death. Just ground me into the wall. Hmm. I don't think I'll be getting that cat. I don't think that's possible. Not with that trap situated where it is. Well, nothing there. Unless there's a secret door behind the bones now. What was that? I swear, where did that rock come from? Mm. Let me try this. Okay, yeah, I've noticed there's something in those curse pots that, like, turns enemies black. But I don't yet know what that is. Oh! That arrow just went straight through that skeleton and killed me. Well, didn't kill me, but hit me. Unbelievable. Okay. <sighs> Almost died to that snake. That would have been embarrassing. I need anything in this shop. I don't think I do. Hmm. I don't 
think I can get the key either. I'm just going to abandon that pot, honestly. And the cat's dead. Ah! At least I have this crate with a machete. Ooh, just chopped up that cat. Oh god. Wait, this is like, not possible now. Unless, oh. I was gonna bounce off of the mole. I did not expect the mole to just stop running. It's just Lizard City over here now. It's got me anxious. Hmm. Hmm. Nah. Saw a lot of exploring up there that I did not need to do. Oh. I feel like now I have to, like, second-guess all of my Spelunky knowledge, you know? Like, in the first game, I knew that, like, if a certain amount of levels had gone by and I hadn't seen the key or the treasure chest, then I just wasn't going to. Now I don't really know. And I knew that, like... I needed to shoot for having about 10,000 gold per level in order to eventually buy the Ankh at the black market. And now I'm not really sure how much to shoot for. Other than just as much as possible, you know. I wonder if cavemen pick up idols, because I've seen them pick up random objects. Well, I guess that wasn't the best way to find out. Wait, is the, is the chest room over here? Uh, I don't know. Can't see it. I'm considering the climbing gloves. Those are pretty much always a good investment. Mm, I don't like this. Enemies on all sides of me. Damn it. I hate this. Get out of here. Oh my god. I am so sick of moles. I'm sick of them. Mm. Okay, the, the chest room is over here at least. Good, good. Alright. I'm taking this cat. Oh, God. And I'm going back for the curse pot. It's a bad idea, but I'm doing it. I only wish I could have killed another mole with that, but I just happened to miss. I feel like so far, the third 
Um, what is this environment called? Burrow? Dwelling. I feel like the third dwelling level is always um, a turkey level. I don't know if that's just been coincidence, or if that is a rule in Spelunky 2. But let's try and- oh god! Well, let's try and save the turkeys. <laughs> I'm noticing the turkey has to stand still to do its headbutt attack. You can't do it while moving. It's not like the whip. Oh, I see another turkey. Hmm. 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 Am I gonna do that? Nah, that would take at least one rope and at least one bomb. So I don't think I want to. This is just my turkey now. Oh man, that guy's selling a rock dog. I see blood just squirt out of the lizards sometimes, and I don't know why. Like, when they start waddling fast, they just start squirting blood. It's a little weird. It's unsettling. Uh, is that a glitch? Is Oh, is there like a real animal that squirts blood when it runs around? The rock dog is only 4,400. I kind of want to try it out. Give me the rock dog. And then do this. Let's cook this turkey. Oh shit. Yang noticed that I did that. Boom. The horned lizard squirts, uh, squirts blood from its eyes when it's threatened. Interesting. Huh. Dude, I love a rock dog. It shoots fire. And it can still double jump, just like a turkey. Just can't glide, I guess. I love a rock dog. Boom. Got a projectile now. I kind of want to take the rock dog to the jungle, since that's, like, not its natural habitat. I'm going to leave it up there and keep it safe. Alright, so I need to, like, trigger this guy's roll twice. Come over this way. Come on. Here we go. Alright, now come in this direction. Okay. That might be it. Oh no, rock dog! I'm so sorry. There he is. Okay. Oh no, I'm not going to be able to get Rock Dog up there. Wait, what if... Okay, good. I can carry Rock Dog. Awesome. I can't go in here with Rock Dog, though. What if... No! Damn. I'm not allowed to take Rock Dog to the next level. Well, I don't want to live in a world without Rock Dog, so... I'm just going to... Oh. That wasn't what I intended to do. I was going to try to kill the boss. With Rock Dog. I guess that's what I get for my hubris. Hmm. So then I guess you can't take a Rock Dog to the jungle. 
That's so lame. Ooh. Okay, got some bombs. I guess I'll go in here. Uh, nothing really in here. Just a torch. I'm kind of wondering if there's some special significance to torches. Like if you need one later in the game to do some side objective or what. Because it seems like there's always a place to get a torch in the caves. Ooh. Hmm. This situation sucks right here. Oh. Hmm. That caveman is a heavy sleeper. That's good for me. this torch. Oh, is the lizard gonna start squirting blood? I saw it like running. Oh, maybe not. Okay, let's go. Oh. Oh god. Let me just take that. Okay. I think I can get up to Yang's if I go this way now. Fucking moles. I tried to get him to buy my idol earlier today, and he would not do it. Well, I sure hope both of his turkeys are waiting at the bottom of the level. Okay. Oh my god, they are. And a bunch of fucking moles are here, too. Ugh. I just want all this stuff to die. Okay. Okay. It's fine. Ah, oh, I wanted to try pro tactics there. Okay. Turkey number one. I just had a thought. Can I... Can I grab this turkey and ride this turkey? Yes. Okay. Hey, why did I drop the turkey? Oh, it woke up. Okay. Well, mm, it's a really long path to do this. I don't think I'm going to get both turkeys. I'm just going to keep one, honestly. Do this. Good, good. I got the cat. Let me get this. Fuck a mole. That was pretty good, I guess. Oh god. I'm sorry, turkey. Oh wait, the arrow trap didn't go off. It's cool. Beautiful.
Come on. There we go. Um, let me get this key. Oh god, oh god. Whew. Alright, so it looks like there's the chest, and it's like completely closed in, so I need to use a bomb. I think it kind of sucks that like, you know, objectives like that can be completely sealed up in the walls. Like that never really happened in the last uh, Spelunky game. I feel like the levels were pretty well laid out so that you didn't need to ever use a rope or a bomb. I mean, technically I didn't need to use one of those to get through the level, uh, but, you know, to work on the true run, I did need to. Oh, there's a jetpack in that shop. Can I afford it? Oh god, get this mole out of here! I hate it! It's coming out again, yep. Fuck this thing. Shit, did I just kill my turkey? No. Shame I didn't kill the mole either, though. Fuck this thing! Ugh! Fine, I'm not ever touching it again. I'm just taking the jetpack. God. I can use the jetpack with the turkey. This is a game changer. Alright. My first time getting the jetpack in Spelunky 2. Let's see how I make use of my powers. Okay, let me go rescue that pug up here. Gotta have this. Oh yeah, now I'm spelunking. Alright. I don't even need the turkey with me to do this part, really. Like, now that I have the jetpack... Come on. I can just whoosh. And then I'll grab these two. Hup. Oh yeah, I'm not going to be able to take the turkey with me, huh? Because it's a mount. Yeah. Well, that's acceptable. I mean, I've got a jetpack now. Like, I'm living the good life with this. Kind of helps to light my way, too. A bit. This is some bullshit, okay? <laughs> Seriously, look at that. There was literally no way for me to avoid death there. When you just walk out the door and enemies are on top of you, like, there is nothing that you can do in that situation. That was 100% unwinnable. Like, I had no way of knowing there were enemies out there, and I had no way of dealing with the enemies once I got out there. That was really bad. <clears throat> like, it, a similar thing happened earlier, um, where the boss was standing on the door, like the exit door. Um, but that one was a little different because, like, you know, I had lured him far enough down the level that 
he ended up standing there. So I thought, you know, that one's partially my fault, but I mean, just now, that was a no-win scenario. That's one of those things where, like, I'm about to, like, walk back over the footage later and see if there's anything I could have done differently. Because I don't think there was. Hmm. Well, I'm going to attempt a pro gamer move here. Hmm, that was close. One more time. Hell yeah. See, now there was some factual, undisputable evidence that I'm really good at video games. There was no way for me to survive that lizard assault. If a pro gamer like me couldn't do it, then it was impossible. Clearly. Mm, man, both of the turkeys are over there. Alright. Oh my god, they're like right above his corral. Let's just do this. No problem. This is like a no risk thing here. Just boom, turkey. And oh no. How am I ever going to get this turkey out of this situation? Wait, wait. Come, come on. There we go. Ah, I don't want to ride that one. Okay, let me in your creepy basement. No! Ooh, crates! This is a good basement. I got bombs and a parachute. Okay. And there's a secret shop. Hmm. I was kind of hoping it would be like a highly discounted shop or something, since it's in such a secret place. And I don't know what's up with these doors that you can't go through. I don't know what their story is. Hmm. I would so love to sacrifice that mole. But on the other hand, I fully don't want to fuck with it. <laughs> Ooh, even more bombs. This is the life. I mean, it's not a jetpack life, but it's something. Okay, so I guess the shop in the basement was a little discounted. It was like 10,800 for the cape instead of 12,000. I'm still not sold. Okay, I'm mm, I want that gold. But how bad? Bad enough? Yeah. And I made a stylish exit. You get out of here. Get out of here. Mmm. This is a crowded ass level. <laughs> Actual God. <laughs> yeah. There's another jetpack. I probably can't afford it though. And there's the key cave, which I probably can't reach. Mm. Ooh. It 
It's 22,000. I can't afford that at all. Hmm. Oh, man. I can get that cat, right? Just can't come up with 22,000 gold. What about a bomb right here? Oh, man. Mm. Alright. We're going to try the bomb throw again. Oh, that was way off. Good thing I have a bunch of those. Mm, I hate this mole. Ah! I didn't want to get on the ladder. I just wanted to throw the bomb. It's okay. That run was kind of going down the toilet. Couldn't get the key. Couldn't get the jetpack. Like, why bother going on, you know? All right. True skill test right here. Damn it. <laughs> I fail. All right. Mm. I'm getting absolutely ravaged by this run. Now my pug is dead. Fine, fine. I should be too. That was a terrible start. Mm. <laughs> mm. Honestly, when a run starts like that, I strongly contemplate just restarting right then. The only reason I don't in a game like this, and this goes back to like even when I played the free version, was like, you can still make progress in your run and like learn new things about the game. Even if you're not necessarily going to make it to the end. It's kind of nice being in the game again where that, like, uh, knowledge is important again. Hmm, that cat... A cat would take two bombs, which I am not going to do. I'm just going to have me a black diamond. Hmm. See, I don't like this. I don't like these pet spawns where you have to use a good solid two bombs to get to them. That's really rough. Especially when you're in the first zone still. Yeah, like, there's no way for me to get that pet unless I went back up to the top and used two bombs. Because I definitely can't use a bomb around Yang here. Mmm! I hate moles so much. I honestly hate the moles more than I hate the 
like spinning lizards that can just stun lock you to death. Because like at least the lizards are predictable. All right, well, this is doable. Like, the moles and how unpredictable they are, they kind of remind me of the frogs from the free version of Spelunky. Because in the HD version, every frog jumps in the same path, you know? Like, they have the same jump arc every time they try to jump. And I'm dead again. Because of these fucking moles. But in the free version, the frogs... Like, had a degree of randomness to their jumps. Oh, look at that. It's another ad for big follows. Man, I can't wait to become famous. All right. Yeah, I'm not even going to go over there. Actually, I'm going to get the lizard to help me. Anyway, what I was saying was the frogs were so much harder to deal with in the free version because their jumps were so unpredictable. So I feel like I died to the frogs a lot in the free version. Just like the moles in this version make me take a lot of damage. Yeah, I don't know what's up with those big follow bots, but they're kind of like a virus on Twitch, I think. I say that because I have a friend of mine uh, who streams sometimes. Uh, usually it's just like me and other friends of his that he knows personally watching him, but he gets just spammed with those big follow messages. Like, he gets upwards of three of them in a row and I never saw one of those messages until after I watched his streams where he was getting them so it's like they spread from his account to mine mm, here comes a mole but yeah thankfully at least for now I only get one spam message at a time Would be better if it was zero. I hope Twitch finds a way to, like, get rid of spammers like that. Because they're using, like, auto-generated accounts. They always have a different username. This sucks right here. I need that cat and I need that key. Alright, here's what I'm gonna try. Of course! Of course it falls down from the ladder. Alright. We're doing this the hard way now. I mean, we were already doing it the hard way. Now we're doing it the double hard way. Great. Great. Mm, all right, last chance. All right. I don't feel like I'm doing a bad job at this game. Am I having really bad luck or something? Am I just trying to do too much stupid shit? Maybe I just need to focus. Ah. Maybe I just need to only focus 
on what I can easily gain and accomplish. Hmm. See, like that. Oh man. I was not even thinking that I needed a rope to get out of there. That was not worth it. That's kind of what I mean. I'm doing stupid shit. Okay, I'm in the turkey level. So I was saying earlier, I thought that 1-3 was always the turkey level, right? Well, here it is on 1-2. So, I guess it's either 2 or 3. Myth busted, indeed. Hmm. Here's another example of stupid shit I've been doing, carrying those pots around with me. Mm, I'm gonna need a rope to get out of here. Let's keep on being stupid. <laughs> I'm never gonna stop being stupid. I'm going to need even more ropes to get back up there if I find the next turkey. Yeah, it's all the way down there. I think turkey quest is not happening. So I will probably just try and take the next turkey with me. It's just going to be my turkey now. Oh, there's a purple pack of some kind in there now. I'm curious about that. Okay, turkey tamed. What is this? Hover pack. That's interesting. It's different from a jet pack. If I had to guess at what this does, it probably lets you do like a Super Mario Brothers 2... Princess Toadstool hover, you know, like, just hover at the same elevation for some time. That's my educated guess, based on the name. Hmm. I can get that gold. Hmm. I can bypass that arrow trap. I can do this. Hmm, here's an idea. Hey, it worked. Fuck this mole. Uh, I bet the treasure room is over there on the right. Let me scout it out here. Mm-hmm. That's what I'm seeing. <sighs> Wait, what did I see in there? Oh, just like a chest and a pile of bones. Guess that's behind the shop. Alright, I think I can make this happen. Wait, I might not even need a bomb. Maybe I can just... Mm, no, I need... I need a bomb. <laughs> I 
One thing I have noticed different in this game is that I have not seen any giant spiders in the first zone. I feel like they might be gone. That, or they've just relocated to another zone. Let's go. That was level 1-3. Okay, boss time. Which way do I want to go? Oh god. Okay. Alright, now let's hope I don't have to deal with any more uh, bullshitty, inescapable situations when I get down near the end. Oh god. What did I do? It's oh. I approve. Thank you, JT. It's all for your approval. Huh? Man. That should have been no problem. That was like such an alley oop. Mm. I wonder if I'm just like more tired than I feel. <laughs> well, now I feel like that was my fault. Well, I mean... I, I can't say that it wasn't, but... Who knows, really? Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> uh, the jury's still out on that one. Who really knows 100%? Hmm, Hamtaro for me? I think I can get Hamtaro. Beautiful. How have I been? Well, now that Spelunky 2 is out, I'm doing great. It's excellent. I have a new video to put out, probably tomorrow or technically today. I should probably, like, schedule that upload before I go to bed tonight. It's technically two videos, but the first one is just to, like, introduce what is planned to be a series. Oh, well, you know, I don't want to ruin the surprise of it. Gotta build that anticipation. It's another review, but not of anime this time. Something a little different. But I'm pretty happy with it. It's gonna have more live-action footage, I'll tell you that. And I'm just really happy with, like, the way I've executed things. I'm gonna say that. Hey, look at this. I'm getting the chest now. Oh, it would help if I grabbed the item. Alright. I haven't seen a JT stream in a while. Haven't seen him play in any marble games or anything like that. I miss the marble days, you know? I miss those, like, underdog triumphs. Oh, that's good. I'm glad you're looking forward to it. Hmm. 
I mean, I was talking a little earlier about a friend of mine who pretty much just streams for me and, like, one or two other friends. And it's still fun to watch him, too. Like, he's been playing Dark Souls 3, and that's a game I've already beaten, but he hasn't, and it's just fun to watch his progress. Oh god, I'm on the turkey. Alright, turkey acquired. I kind of feel like there's a lot of random chance in this game as to like whether you can do the turkey quest and whether you're able to do really a lot of things. Here's a turkey. Hmm. People tell you to upload shit like stream archives or something like that. Oh god, oh god. For whatever reason, my brain just failed to register that the lizard was a hostile creature. I was just thinking about, like, these turkeys and pugs and stuff. And I was like, oh yeah, that's totally fine, I can just walk into that. But alright, it looks like I'm doing the turkey quest. Oh. Here you go. Let me have your creepy basement key. Huh. I've never seen one of those caveman shops before. That's interesting. Review anime as someone who absolutely does not watch anime. Uh, that could be fun. That reminds me of, like, um, Conan O'Brien had that series called Clueless Gamer. I don't know if he still does it. But that was really fun. Ugh, ugh. Interesting. Caveman Shop. I like it. The only downfall with something like Clueless Gamer is after you do enough of those, you stop being clueless. You know, you start to actually gain the knowledge of the thing that you're reviewing without the knowledge, you know. If that makes sense. I don't know, I mean, I'm not friends with people who don't watch anime, um, but I have this idea, if I had friends who didn't watch anime, it would be fun to do videos where I show them the opening of an anime and see if they can guess what it's about. Oh man, you made a channel intro and everything? That's more work than most people would put in, I feel like. I used to have an intro on my channel, but it got kind of outdated and I haven't felt like making a new one yet. I'm still kind of, like, feeling out whether my current, like, creation streak is going to keep up its steam. I'm fully intending for it, too. But, oh god, oh god. But, like, I wouldn't want some life shit to come up and find that I'm suddenly unable to really work on videos like I wanted to. Okay. Oh, God! I was almost in one of those unescapable situations again with that bat. I had a split second to react, though. I want that scarab. I'm gonna catch it. Hehe. <laughs> Web gun, you never fail me.
All right. Oh, man. I have to use a rope if I want to get my web gun back. Eh. I don't want it that bad. I'm just gonna move on. Hmm. Dark volcano level. Shit, you're right, I forgot the pug. Damn. I wonder if I would have ever noticed that. <laughs> Let's, uh... Hmm. Oh, well, well, thank you, hired hand. Uh, thank you for getting that scarab. I wish you the best. <laughs> and uh, here's Yang's pet shop. Oh, God. Not sure what just happened there. Do I want to buy a turkey? Let's buy a turkey. Why not? It's nice. It'll help me, you know, be a little more careful. Oh, I like the turkey. Yeah, you can send me a link for sure. I would definitely watch that. Ah. Oh god. I mean, you can post it in the, like... Oh god! Oh! <laughs> Shit. I had the turkey to give me a second chance, and I still lost it. I was... Anyway, I was going to say you can even post it in, like, my general Discord if you want to. I don't know if you want to show that many people or not, but it's up to you. Mm. I still have not made it to the third zone. That's kind of my goal for this sitting, is like, I just want to reach zone three. Or at least the end of zone two. Because I know what's at the end of zone two. And I want to have it on video. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm going to keep it isolated. Okay. Well, maybe one day you'll have, like, hundreds of videos and... I can point people back to this stream and be like, hey, this is where he first had the idea to share this stuff. It might have never become a thing if it wasn't for my encouragement. You're welcome, America. <laughs> All right. Humble. Yeah, that's me. I'm the most humble guy I know. It's really just, it's not possible to be more humble than I am. I'm really great in that way. Oh god. Okay. Mm-hmm. I'm realizing now, it doesn't really matter that I forgot that pug in the last level, because I died to lava. Hmm. Oh god. I'd like to sacrifice that lizard, but I don't know if it'll stay asleep long enough. Well, now it's asleep forever. Mm. 
Hmm. Oh, your weeb friends made you watch Darling in the Franks. Oh god, oh no, I killed that cat! Shit, that shouldn't have happened. I mean, in multiple ways, that shouldn't have happened. <laughs> I have not watched Darling in the Franks. I've heard that it's bad. Oh my god, this is a mess. This is a mess. Turkey, just live. Okay. Hmm. You want to review Gate? I've never heard of Gate. I've heard of Stein's Gate. But I think I do know of another one that's just called Gate. But yeah, I don't know anything about it. I mean, if you need, like, weird or bad things to watch, I can definitely make recommendations. Gate is an anime where the modern Japanese military is teleported somehow to a feudal fantasy Japan. <laughs> yeah, you would be surprised. A lot of anime has this uncanny ability to uh, take a really amazing sounding premise and then just kind of just royally fuck it up in ways you could not have imagined. There was one that I thought about doing a review of. Yes, my bird died. <laughs> Yeah, it did. I noticed. I paused for a second. I gave it one moment of silence. Exactly one moment. Um, but one of the most frustrating animes I have seen was a series called um, Black Heaven, or like The Legend of Black Heaven. It sounded amazing. The premise of that was that it was about like a, like a middle-aged a businessman who used to be in like a really cool metal band when he was younger and aliens call on him to play his guitar for them on their ship because his guitar playing powers their super weapon and that sounds like one of the best premises for anything I've ever heard of and they just managed to make it really boring and, like, insert a lot of really bad comedy into it. And it had pretty bad animation overall. It did have a really good theme song, though. Um, the theme song was done by a guy who was a member of Sex Pistols, I think. Just a really good theme song. The song was called Cautionary Warning, and I just absolutely loved that theme song. It gave me really high hopes for the series, uh, which were then dashed upon the rocks. <laughs> I think I can get this idol. Hell yeah. Can't get the cat now, though. You put that arrow down, dude. Um, I probably could have gotten that cat now that I look at it. I realize I have eight bombs. Oh god. Oh, look who's stuck in the web. Just die. Just die. I'm gonna wait here until I can kill this mole. There. Oh, I don't have the key. What am I even doing in here? Hmm. How long it takes for fan service to ruin enemy or anime, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that happens way too much. Especially when it's like bad fan service. 
Like, if you look at something like Made in Abyss, which is, like, a really imaginative series in a lot of ways, also blatantly panders to pedophiles constantly, and is really uncomfortable to watch. I had thought about making a video about Made in Abyss at one point, but just, like, I don't even want to engage with that crowd that loves it wholeheartedly. It's like, ugh. Like, I've gotten into it in some YouTube comments with people, like, defending Made in Abyss. The thing that drives me nuts is, like, the people who are like, oh, if a bunch of naked, sexualized children makes you uncomfortable, that must mean that you're actually repressing some feelings about sexualized children. Like, fuck off with that. <laughs> like, I saw a really funny, like, meme response to that one time. There was somebody saying, like, Oh, you hate spiders, huh? You must secretly want to fuck spiders. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey. A little hamster is over here. I want that. Give me hamster. Okay. Whoop. Yeah, I have not watched Darling in the Franks, but I'm, like, vaguely familiar with it. Trust me, it's, like, not nearly as bad as some other stuff that's out there. Yeah, I've seen at least enough clips online of just other people talking about the show to be kind of familiar with that stuff. Right, let's see if I can beat the volcano this time. Mmm. How am I still getting fucked up by... Simple bats. The RimWorld review? I don't know yet. To be determined. Alright, I have enough bombs to attempt a pro strat. Oh, that was close. Oh, Dwarf Fortress on Steam? Uh, I wasn't sold on it at first, but I am definitely coming around. Like... Seeing the new interface and stuff, it's starting to look really good. Like, I don't know yet if I'm going to buy it right away when it comes out, but I am looking more forward to it than I was, for sure. Yeah, the UI is what's really impressing me. Oh, this sucks right here. Hup, hup, no! Oh, damn. Well, I made it, and I kept my boomerang. Yeah, I mean, I definitely should buy it, because, like, I, uh, I've played so many hours of the free version already. Hmm. Oh, is there a Dwarf Fortress podcast? Uh, I haven't listened to one, if there is. Oh, oh god! 
Oh, God. I don't even know what just happened. But apparently I got a new high score. Hmm. Okay. Apparently that feels great. Apparently it does. <laughs> also, I kind of love this thing. Um, I know this is unintentional, but I kind of love how like most of the death screens end with, Dear Journal, I was vegan. <laughs> and like, <laughs> I feel like that would actually... That's very much in line with, like, vegan culture. Like, that's the first thing you need to know. Dear Journal, I was vegan. Mm. Man. Let me do one more run. This is going to be the last one. No matter what happens. Because I think I'm really hitting the point where, like, sleepiness is interfering with how well I play the game. He just took that shit. Look at that guy. What an absolute boy. Ah. Oh, nice. JT subscribed. Thank you. That's two subscriptions tonight. 100% of the people who have been in my chat tonight have subscribed. I mean, except for the big follows bot. But that doesn't count. <laughs> I've got a 100% subscription rate now. Oh yeah, JT... I've also been streaming, I don't know if you have any interest in this at all, but I've been doing Dark Souls 1, uh, partially with a friend, uh, playing with randomizer mods on, and that's been a really fun playthrough. We're doing as much co-op as we can, the locations of all the items and the enemies are randomized, and it's absolutely nuts. Oh yeah, that's right, you did poke into one or two of those. I'm having a lot of fun with those. I was even thinking about making like an edited kind of montage video of part of that playthrough. <clears throat> when I went through New Londo, it was the most harrowing part of the game up to that point. And so I kind of wanted to edit together a little death montage. kind of funny, you know, um, when I first played the free version of Spelunky, I did a death montage of just every single time I died, until I beat Olmec for the first time. Um, it was one of my first experiences doing video editing. Um, it's not even up on my channel, and it just... It was like very old YouTube. I don't mean like it's a very old YouTube video, but I mean it was in the old YouTube style where it just like had music in the background that was just music that I thought was cool at the time. <laughs> and had, you know, very little editing aside from just cutting clips. It even had annotations on it, if I remember right, when it was uploaded to YouTube. It might be fun to do a video like that that's just as bad for Spelunky 2. What am I doing? I walked in there, knowing the key was right next to me. This is what I'm talking about. I am slipping tonight. 
<laughs> that old YouTube culture. Eh, I mean... <laughs> the blue background title sprawls. I never actually had any of those. Those were, what, Windows Movie Maker? And what did I use? What would I have used to edit that? It was before I had Vegas. Maybe it was Movie Maker. It just didn't have any title cards, was all. The Lincoln Park. And it would need to have unregistered Hypercam 2 in the corner. That would be a necessity. I would have to edit that in since I'm not using unregistered Hypercam 2. <laughs> I kind of wonder, did anybody register Hypercam 2? I guess I would never know. Because it's not like their uh, watermark would say registered Hypercam 2. Which Jerma stream is that? I've never actually watched Jerma. I'm more of a Vine Sauce Joel guy. He's probably my favorite. Hmm. Can I jump across onto that caveman's head? Oh, I can just skip over his head. Oh, you're a Vine Sauce Vinny guy? Man, fuck Vine Sauce Vinny. This meme created by Vine Sauce Joel Gang. <laughs> okay. Sacrifice another turkey. Oh no! Sacrifice. Well, oh, I thought that would be good enough for me to get something. So two turkeys are not equivalent to a normal pet. Come on. Oh man, caveman's dead now. Just dawn DPM. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. My favorite thing of Vine Sauce Joel is probably just his Sims streams. Um, like, he does the meme house of Sims 4, which I love. It's my favorite anime. <laughs> like, I usually don't even watch their streams that much. I just watch, like, the compilation videos of them. But the Sims 4 ones are good enough that I watch the entire ass stream. Oh yeah, the Swedish April Fool streams. Apparently he does that every year. Oh god, the ghost coming. The ghost is here. Where's the exit? Oh god, I'm far. I am far from the exit. Holy shit. God, let me out of here. Whoa. Mm, no. I listened to a pretty cool interview with uh, Vine Sauce Joel recently. The uh, Valve News Network guy interviewed him about streaming and stuff. And he said one thing that kind of caught my interest, where he was talking about streaming, like, Desert Bus and stuff like that. And they were kind of talking about, like, what would make people want to watch an eight-hour stream of somebody playing Desert Bus. And he kind of talked about, like, the underdog element of it. 
that people want to see like an unlikely person succeed at something like that. And that kind of got me thinking, like inspired to stream more things like that Dark Souls randomizer and a game like Spelunky trying to get 100% achievements. Because in the past, I would like play games like that offline because I was like, oh, who wants to watch me do the same thing over and over again, you know? Like, who wants to watch all of these unsuccessful attempts at a video game when they could just watch somebody do it immediately on YouTube or whatever? But I kind of feel that. Because, like, just when I'm watching a friend playing Dark Souls, streaming, like, by himself, it's still fun to, like, watch him attempt the boss 20 times. <clears throat> Clint Stevens? I don't know who that is. I have not heard this name, I don't think. Ooh. Yeah, honestly, I have, I would say I have a weird relationship with, like, streaming and YouTube and stuff in general. Like, when people started doing Let's Play on YouTube, I was like, why would anybody ever watch this? Like, the people are never funny, and, like, they're just playing a video game and talking. Like, I could just play the video game, and I would be having more fun. And then, like... Those are videos I started to make at one point. And same thing with streaming. I was like, man, why would I sit there and, like, chat with some dude playing the video game when I could just be playing video games? And, well, here I am streaming. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm not feeling like I want to take a lot of risks now that I'm uh, here in the second zone. And of course there's a dark level. And that robot is just right next to the chain I need to climb. Okay, it's fine. Oh! <laughs> that was scary! Oh my god. Let me get that scarab. Come on, scarab. Come down. Get down. I want to get that. Yeah. Mine. I don't know what's up with this drill. I feel like there's got to be something important. Oh, wait, what's this? What have I done? Oh, God. Okay, that took my Ujat eye out. Oh, this is interesting. I've discovered a secret. I think the music changed too, maybe. This is spooky. Okay, I've definitely discovered something new. I need to just go down here, I think. Fuck me! Come on! Ah. Oh. Can you believe that shit? Ugh. <laughs> I figured since I could climb down the chain between the lava flows that I would be safe the whole way down. I thought it was not gonna drip down and move inward. Mm. That is accurate, yeah. Oh my god. That was a tremendous oof. Mm. Right when I had found some secret zone, too. What does my journal have to say about this? I was vegan, I was law-abiding, I liked pets. 
Yeah. Unbelievable. That was so rough. Man. Mm. Well, I said that was going to be the last run, and it honestly went a lot better than I expected. But I think... Play. Alexa play. Oh god, I think I know where this is going. <laughs> I think I know where JT is going with this. But I just, I want to wait and see if he's doing what I think he's doing. Like, well, maybe. Is there another message coming? Um, you still there, JT? Oh. You were letting me fill in the blanks. Oh. <laughs> I thought... Hmm, okay. I thought you were going to make a reference to that uh, Young Man song from way back in the Ocarina of Time streams. Oh, well. <laughs> that too. Sure. <laughs> Alright. Speaking of young men, or no young man, as Andrew said, um, there's a new Mouth album coming out. I think it's coming out today, as a matter of fact. Yeah, I mean, I know, yeah, Despacito, that's the usual joke. But, fine. <laughs> Alright, so tomorrow... What do I have going on tomorrow? I am recording part of an Oblivion Challenge video with my dry bread. You know, the guy that I did the Dwarf Fortress videos with, and Factorio videos. Uh, hopefully we're gonna finish up recording that Oblivion challenge tomorrow. So be looking forward to that pretty soon. I am really looking forward to that. I think it's gonna be a funny video. Um, but other than that, my day tomorrow is gonna be pretty wide open, so I'm probably gonna do like a Spelunky 2 marathon. I'm probably just gonna try to, like, eat a really big lunch and just, like, go at this game and see how much I can uncover. I want to beat the game and then I want to, like, beat it in whatever secret way there is, probably, like, the equivalent of a hell run. And then I want to get 100% of the Chivos. That's kind of my vague roadmap. But I still have a whole lot to discover. Still have not made it to Zone 3. Maybe that'll be happening tomorrow. Anyway. Maybe I'll see you guys then. Anyway. Thanks for being here. And, oh man. Fallen Shadow had to throw, uh, show up and ruin my 100% subscriber rate. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, no, I'm glad you guys were all here. And I'll see you tomorrow if you're there or another time. Anyway, have a good night.